Oh, is he coming on? I think he's in camp. He is too. Let's see. Is he in the lodge? Yeah, he is in the lodge too. I'm trying to figure out whereabouts he is, but if you have it, actually, you can have a look in there. We can show you one of the. Have you got him? Yeah. Let's see if we can see him from here. It's a bit difficult, but he's he's inside the the fence now. It looks like it, but like I said, it doesn't really keep the predators out. I didn't see him at all, Seb. Sorry, I can't give even give you a helping hand. I'm just watching. We're just waiting. Let's see. Got him. There we go. Look. Naughty. There's one of the rooms. How great is that? Imagine you're just having a gin and tonic or perhaps a cool drink of some sort, uh, relaxing on your deck. Or is he just on the outside? No, I think he's actually just on the outside of the fence. Yeah, he's no, he's not in. But he can go in if he wants to. And then uh, having this walk right past. Isn't that great? He's just there. The impala, the nyala, the bushbuck, they all jump straight over this fence. And again, it's not a bad spot to come and look for some prey. It is very windy. The animals don't like the wind, so they'll be looking for a bit of shelter so that they can hear everything around them a bit better. Aha. Uh -huh. But will the wind be enough to hide Ting not Tingana and Vula? And will he be able to capture something? There's normally a lot of inyala around here, also bushbuck. Let's see, he might come up towards us. Goodness, he's the master of hiding. I actually think he might have the title from Tingana of the hide and seek champion. Yesterday, Tesla said that Tingana was the hide and seek champion. I think that's not the case. I think it's actually Mvula. There we go. How's that for a shot? That's so cool. That's, a, that's an amazing thing about coming out on safari and particularly these, these areas where your camp is surrounded by big five. Uh, terrain and all and you can see things like this. It's a common sight in the sands. In fact, the leopards are well acquainted with the lodges uh, and any guy that worked in the Sabi sands is not a stranger to facing a spotted cat, whether it's on the walkway or perhaps just drinking from the star, uh, not the staff, the lodge pool. That's also a very common sight. Even sleeping on the couches outside, they are known to do things like that. They're not afraid. Look at Vatumi, for example, he lives around in Koro. Hello, beautiful boy. Yes, look at those eyes, turning back and giving us a glance. Well-trained leopard, this one. You can see he knows the ropes. He's not inexperienced. I feel like it's inbred into the Sabi sand leopards. They just know how to pose so well. Okay, let's keep going. Let's, let's, um, let's go around quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Meow, we'll go all the way around here. I know a sneaky spot through because I've driven this route I don't know how many times coming to look for things and this is what helps is that the more of these uh, off-road adventures I take you on the quicker uh, the route I can find of a way in because I would have driven in and around here I did this the other day just watch this buffalo thorn okay and then we gotta go is it this way might be maybe I've gone gotten too eager I'm just trying to see where if it was down here it was one of these ways I think it was this way around yes where is he? oh yeah great great stuff roll on in hello beautiful but there he is indeed Which way are you going to go now, mister? You're going to pose nicely and walk over the top of that tree. Perhaps. Or no. Are you going to step on it? Yes, you lovely boy. He did exactly what I asked him to do. But he outsmarted us, Sebastian. He's too clever. We're going to have to go around. No, I'm going to go over that and back around this way. Please be a spot to go up. Please don't be too tricky. Yeah, not the greatest, but we'll take it. Whoop. 
Sorry, I make all sorts of strange noises when I drive. It's as if I'm actually working hard. I'm not doing anything. The car's doing all the work. Come on, Rusty, you can get over there. That's easy. Maybe I must click at it like a horse. Where have you gone? You're on the termite mound right above us. And I'm just trying to quickly navigate through here. Sorry, quarry tree. I don't want to drive over you. I just want you to move next to the car. Yes, there we go. I don't see... Oh, there he is. Aha! Uh -huh. Now we've got another view straight in front of us, you sneaky little boy, you. And off he goes again. So he's not going towards Gallag... Uh, to where tell a dam now, sorry. He's had his drink of water, he won't need to have another drink, though it's a good spot to potentially find animals if he goes back that way. Come on. <laughs> Don't fail me now, Rusty. Okay. Ah, oh, lovely. It seems as though Ellie has arrived at her destination. I need to get ourselves out of this prickly spot. Ellie is now with Tangana. Let's go see how he's doing.